हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर अजीत जायसवाल फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एंथ्रोपोलॉजी पाण्डिचेरी यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉड्यूल कॉल्ड एज मेथड ऑफ स्टडिंग ह्यूमन जेनेटिक्स अंडर पेपर फिजिकल एंड बायोलॉजिकल एंथ्रोपोलॉजी इन दिस मॉड्यूल मॉड्यूल्स वी आर गोइंग टू आंसर सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस लाइक व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट मेथड ऑफ स्टडिंग ह्यूमन जेनेटिक्स why such method are different from other lower organisms what is the concept of nature nurture interaction in human genetics how can nature nurture interaction interaction be assist in human genetics what are the emerging field in human genetics if there is any and ultimately what are the scope of scope for under under undergoing research in human genetics let me give you a introductory information for this topic as we already know that human genetics is mainly concerned the 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 scientific study of uh, transmission or inherited human variation generally generally genetic information is passed on from parental generation to the younger generation that is from the parents to the to the son or to the newer generation or the offspring and it is expressed in the form of phenotypic expression though the genetic is the basic approach to understand the inheritable variation or inheritance variation in all organisms the method of study the same in human is quite different and unique from those of other organisms it is due to the fact that human life cycle is inconveniently long and the family size are too small to undergo such studies moreover it is difficult or illegal to procure desired mating as can be done in the in the, in the case of lower organisms in this model some of the important method for studying human genetics will be discussed pedigree analysis pedigree analysis is a method to identify the mode of inheritance of any trait based on mendelian inheritance it can be defined as the diagrammatical representation showing the inheritance pattern of mendelian trait certain symbols are used in the pedigree studies which are given figure in the next page this study of the character is started from proband and further traced out those who bear common ancestors common characters among his or her relative in both preceding and following generation as many as possible in the chart the earliest generation is put at the top followed by the later generation different inheritance pattern such as autosomal and sex linked both dominant and recessive inheritance can be determined by analyzing the pedigree this has been used to understand the inheritance pattern of any genetic disease or traits the given figure shows symbol used in human pedigree analysis as rectangle which indicate male oval or circle represent female the line between oval and rectangle is mating then there is a there is a line which reflect the parents and children the relationship there is a different line of symbols which are used for dizygomatic monozygomatic and sex unspecified line each and every symbols or diagrams are very specific there is for number of children of sex indicated affected individual heterozygotes for autosomal autosomal or recessive carrier of sex linked recessive traits death abortion or stillbirth or what is called sex unspecified similarly we can see different kinds of symbol used in human pedigree analysis the diagram explain a hypothetical pedigree indicating autosomal recessive inheritance there are certain character that are unique to each inheritance 
and hence it can be used to assess the inheritance. As an example, skip of generation indicate the recessive inheritance and the female being carrier in X-linked recessive inheritance. Twin studies. Twin studies have been extensively used in human genetics to estimate the herit heritability of a particular trait. Where in relative contribution of heredity and environment may result in varied phenotypic expression. The method analyzes the genetic contribution of a particular trait as against the environmental factor. Perhaps the first a systematized study on twins was reported in 1924 where genetist Herman Siemens compared school transcript of individual versus fraternal twins to understand the genetic influence on trait. Twins can be monozygotic twins or identical twins or dizygotic twins or non-identical twins. Monozygotic twins result from the fusion of one sperm and one egg resulting into a single zygote which further divide into two at the embryo stage while dizygotic twins result from two different zygotes, each formed by the fusion of sperm and egg separately. Monozygotic twins are of same sex, while dizygotic twins may be of same sex or different sex. Since monozygotic twins is developed from a single zygote, it is regarded as having common genetic constituent and dizygotic twins is having a different genetic constituent like that of sibling. Methodology Methodologically, twin study is a longitudinal study where the researcher compared traits of interest in dizygotic twins regarding together in the same environment or in monozygotic twins rearing a part in different environment or vice versa. It is based on the assumption that the differential traits developed in monozygotic twins reared a part would be affected of the environmental factor. Similarly, the alike traits developed in dizygotic twins reared together would be because of common environmental exposure. One of the important measurements to find out the relative contribution of heredity and the environment for, for quantitative character is concordance score of a trait. It is defined as the percentage of pair in which both twins express the traits among pair of twins in whom at least one has the trait. Twins sharing a common phenotype are said to be concordant and as well twins sharing different phenotypes are said discordant. Concordant and discordant we have already discussed. Now let's see. Twin studies have been considered as important method to assess nature that is genetic and nurture that is environment approach. Twins both monogenetic and diagenetic reared a part shows that the influence of genetic and environmental factor in phenotypic expression. Concordant traits developed in twins reared a part indicate the role of genetic factor. So, heredity versus environment or nature-nurture interaction concordance scores percentage of pair in which both twin express the traits among pair of twin in whom at least one has the traits. Twins sharing a common phenotype are called as concordant whereas twins sharing different phenotype called as discordant. This table shows the concordance value in monozygotic and dizygotic twins. The concordance value of several traits in monozygotic twins are as follows. Blood type 100 eye color 99, mental retardation 97, hair color 89, down syndrome 89, left or right hard, hardiness 79, epilepsy 72, diabetics 65, tuberculosis 56, cleft lip 42. 
Similarly, we can see the concordance value in the diagnostic twins also. But the, the concordant value of diagnostic twins were comparatively very less in comparison to monogenetic twins. As we can see in the case of blood type, it was 66, eye color 28, mental retardation very less 37, hair color also very less 22, very, very less you will found in Down syndrome that is 7 compared to 89 in monogenetic. Hardiness that is left or right is 77, not much difference is there. Epilepsy, high differences we can see that it here in, in diagnostic it is 15, diabetic 18, tuberculosis 22 and cleft lip is also very less in comparison to monogenetic that is only 5. Karyotype analysis. This karyotype analysis is, is an another important method for studying human genetics. That is, it is also a method to find out the transmission of character from the parent to offspring or find out the transmission of disease or disorder or the, the, the transmission of several factor from the earlier generation to the next generation. It may have a scapping of generation, may not be. The carrot type is, is, is a descriptive chart. The information, the transmission can be, can be explained in the form of a drawing or descriptive chart showing the set of chromosome including the deployed number of chromosome length and distinguishing morphological feature of some of the chromosome. In this method sample such as blood, amniotic fluid, then chorionic villi and any other biological sample containing cells are collected from an individual through different technique. Further, the sample is processed through a number of laboratory procedures such as culturing the cell that is coronic, coronic villi cell do not need cultured as it contain enough dividing cell for analysis. Cell harvesting, separating and staining the chromosome, scanning microscope slides for observing etc. Cell image are photographed and manipulated with better resolution through digital computer software. This photographed chromosome image is kept under examination for any sort of chromosomal analysis. The chromosomes are captured while the cell is undergoing cell division, particularly at the metaphase stage where the chromosome become condensed and visible. This figure shows a normal human male karyotype. The first figure shows a metaphase array of chromosomes seen under microscope whereas the figure, second figure shows the arranged chromosome in a karyotype sheet. Karyotype analysis is another important method for studying human genetics. Karyotype is a descriptive chart showing the set of chromosome including the deployed number of chromosome, chromosome length and disti distinguishing morphological feature of some of the chromosome. This photographed chromosome image is kept under examination for any sort of chromosomal analysis. This method has been employed to analyze the chromosomal abnormalities both structural and numerical. And this would be helpful in understanding the prognosis, prognosis of genetic disorder. For better analysis of the chromosome, the chromosomes are stained with certain dyes that show pattern of light and dark band. Such technique is commonly known as banding technique and G-banding, which is used as a dye color Ginsa reagent being the common one the method has been employed to analyze the chromosomal abnormalities both structural and numerical. Numerical abnormality may be trisomy and any other excess or less of deployed chromosome. With structural abnormalities include deletion and insertion of segment, translocation etc. Such detection of chromosomal abnormalities would be helpful in understanding the Prognosis of genetic disorder. Adoption studies. 
Adoption studies are also other method to investigate the nature-nurture approach. It is well established fact that the adopted child do not share the genetic constituent with the adoptive parent. Comparison of adopted children with biological and non-biological parent can provide an understanding on the heritability of the traits. Concordant character between the adopted children and the non-biological parent would be assessed as the influence of environmental factor. This method has been extensively used in the analyzing the heritability of behavioral traits. Adoption studies have shown that the children born out of schizophrenic parents and adopted by non-schizophrenic parents have higher chance of developing the disorder than the children out of normal biological parents and adopted by the same. This method has some limitation too. As such study require access to good adoption records with stable population over generation. So there are a limited number of situations in which they can be used. Biochemical method. Biochemical genetics is also an important scope for understanding human genetics and its association with certain inherited disorders. Biochemical analysis of protein, enzymes, hormone, etc. are very much important for understanding inter or intra-population variation too. Population affinities and diversity can be estimated from the frequency of the variant of such biochemical marker. Beyond this, biochemical analysis also reveals the fact of inherited genetic disorder. Well-established scientific techniques are very rare, very important for the detection of such biomolecules. Quantification of such molecules also provides another facet of biochemical analysis. Data so obtained could be compared with the standard label and access and, and short of the same would be considered as threat to inherited health problem depending on the metabolic or physiological pathway that involved the, the analyzed biomolecules. Epidemiological studies. Genetic epidemiological studies are again one of the important method for studying human genetics. As Morton has well defined that genetic epidemiology deals with etiology, distribution and control of disease in group of relatives as well as inherited causes of disease in population. Different study design have been employed to investigate the genetic epidemiological studies. Screening of risk or mutant alleles that cause the genetic disease is one of the important aspect of epidemiological studies. This can be applied in the detection of hemoglobin pathies or any other genetic disorder and can assess the risk of such disorder in the population as a whole or sex wise. Certain specific techniques such as electrophoresis are used in the detection of mutation. Sometimes it is referred as descriptive epidemiology in the epidemiological science. It is obvious that collection of biological sample, generally blood sample, is very much needed for any genetic analysis. Association studies are also important facets of human genetic studies. Such studies are carried out to examine the possible association of certain mutation or any other genetic factor 
in the development of genetic disorder. Generally, in such polygenic inherited traits or disorder, the role of this genetic factor in the disease progression and manifestation may differ from one population to another. Association studies can be family based or population based association studies. Case control or case only studies are some of the models of association studies. In the case control studies, the affected individual or those at risk are considered as case and those who don't possess the character of being case are included as control. Association of risk mutant allele or other genetic factor are assessed through statistical approach. In population based association studies, both case and control are collected from the age 6 matched individual. From the same population as different population have varied gene pool. But in the case of family based association studies, control are the family members who are not affected by the traits under consideration. Population genetics study. Population genetics is an important branch of genetics dealing with describing the genetic structure of a Mendelian population. It has been considered as a focal point for evolutionary biology, where in change in the allele and genotype frequency would determine the evolutionary fate of any population. Moreover, the genetic relationship of inter and intra population in the form of genetic differentiation and similarity can also be assessed through statistical method. Statistics play a very important role in analyzing and interpreting inter or intra genetic relationship of the population. Such studies are carried out through certain genetic marker. Genetic marker can be either serological, biochemical or genomic marker. The allele and genotypic frequencies of these marker are calculated based on the observed frequency of the traits or phenotype which have been collected from the population through sampling approach. Analysis of genomic marker need sophisticated technique such as DNA extraction, PCR amplification, genotyping etc. Genotyping is requisite technique even in serological and biochemical markers to identify the variants of the trait. Certain statistical analysis are done from the allele frequency calculated and the result describes the genetic structure of the population. Secondary information such as population and mythological history etc provide an important validation in the finding of the genetic result. Population genetic studies have become a basic substratum for population stratification which could, which could be used in epidemiological studies. Epigenetic study. Epigenetic analysis has brought a new trend in molecular biological research. Epigenetic deals with inheritable changes in DNA or its associated protein without alteration DNA nucleotide sequence. It has been considered as a dynamic way by which genetic variation inter interact with environmental exposure across development to produce a phenotype. It is often associated with heritable gene expression. This new approach reassures the so called concept of nature nurture interaction. Environment may provide change in the expression of genetic trait 
without modification of genetic element of the individual there are different method to understand epigenetic analysis the different method to understand epigenetic analysis such as histone modification and dna methylation it is well established that abnormal pattern of dna methylation are associated with various complex disorder lower than normal level of methylation are commonly observed in some type of cancer as removal of methyl group can activate genes involved with cell growth and can increase genomic instability depth knowledge in the subject matter would be required to design such studies it is true that the approach approach of epigenetic in anthropological investigation is less but it needs to be given emphasis in the present scenario in the present day especially after human genome project methods for studying human genetics have become wider with the advancement of technology earlier it was more of study of inheritance pattern or heritability such an approach has been shifted to technology based model of study where in the genetics try to analyze the gene and their product so it can be concluded that with focus with following points like different method especially in the post human genoming proje- genome project inheritance pattern or heritability gene and their product objectives of the study are effect of genetic change in the phenotypic expression influence of environment on genetic expression expected to bring a new dimension in the applied aspect let's try to sum up the information that we have already discussed in this particular topic in the form of a summary in the form of a important point in the form of recap of information or we can say that just try to once again recap the information that we have discuss in the whole med- module the genetic information is actually is is passed from remember that one from the one generation to the next generation in the form of phenotypes the method for studying genetics in humans are quite different in human in earlier days but it became more or less same in the genomic era human mating cannot be controlled as desired as we have seen in the other cases for the, they want to have a good variety they cross with a good variety but here in the case of women it is not possible because of the number of restriction concern pedigree is the is the important method in which we draw try to represent these things through a diagrammatic representation showing the inheritance pattern of mendelian trait how the traits are character is a transfer from parents or great parents to the next generation or to the further generation so the transmission of character can be reflected can be represent with the help of a of a diagram by having a different the diagram has a different meaning different picture and each and picture can be reflected accordingly it may be relation based or different thing different inheritance pattern such as autosomal and sex linked this autosomal and sex linked both dominant and recessive inheritance can be determined through pedigree analysis the character or the feature the disease disorder or the transmission it may be dominant in nature it may be recessive in nature so from this diagrams we try to analyze the the character because the dominant has a separate characteristic recessive trans- inheritance has a separate characteristic we have another method called twin analysis because there is two type of twin that we have seen monozygotic twins and dizygotic twins the twin method analysis analysis analyzes genetic contribution of a particular trait as against the environmental factor no doubt environment has some factor some role into play that differential trait 
develop in monozygotic twins reared a part would be effect of the environmental factor because they have a similar genetic material. Similarly, a like traits developed in dizygotic twins reared together would be because of the common environmental exposure. Concordant score can be defined as the percentage of pair in which both twin express the traits among pairs of twins in whom at least one has the traits. Similarly, the karyotype is another descriptive chart showing the set of chromosome like 23 set of chromosome pair of chromosome including the diploid chromosome length and the karyotypes is arranged based on the size length position of centromere and distinguished morphological feature of some of them distinguished distinguishing morphological feature of, uh, of some of the chromosome the karyotyping analysis is used to detect chromosomal abnormalities the abnormalities may be, be may be structurally may be because of structural differences or maybe numerical differences concordant character between the adopted children and the non biological parent would be assessed as the inheritance influence of uh, environmental factor similarly the biochemical analysis of protein enzymes hormones and so on are very much important for understanding the inter or intra population variation also screening of risk or mutant allele that causes the genetic disease is one of the important aspect of uh, epidemiological studies where we try to compare between the the control and affected with based on certain comparison concern association studies are are, are carried out to examine the the possible association of a certain mutant or other genetic factor in the development of a genetic disorder generally in such polygenic inheritance traits or disorder association studies can be family based or population based association studies the genetic relationship of inter and intra population in the form of genetic differentiation and similarities can be assessed through statistical method of in statistical method in population genetic method genetic marker can be either serological in nature biochemical in nature or genomic marker secondly information such as population and methodological history etc it provide an important validation in the finding of the genetic relationship of of relationship of of, of interpopulation epigenetics there is another method another part it also deals with the inheritable changes in dna or its associated protein without altering dna nucleotide sequence environment may also provide change in the expression of genetic trait without modification of genetic element of the individual thank you